Hey guys, name's Fen. Welcome to a late night vlog that pretends to be a video game. Just felt like talking, so I guess I'll just start talking. Man. Uh, <laughs> talk. Ain't this gorgeous? Still one of the most beautiful missions ever made. And it's 2008. Just absolutely incredible. So... I know I've made some long rambling videos, such as me driving before, and uh, I think some of you guys claimed and purported to have enjoyed them. Correct me if I'm horridly wrong over here. Creepy. Um, and I can't remember what I edited out or not, but, uh, Hey. I figure I might shoot that guy right in his heart. Because why not? So for those of you still sticking around because it's so exciting watching me claim like I'm going to say something interesting and then not ever do so. I just don't know how to start. I, um... I'm the type who worries a lot, shall we say. And I mean, seriously. You know, if I'm just going through my normal, comfortable life, I don't notice. And I go, yeah, I can do all this stuff, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. And then I do something, this is very vague. And then suddenly I get so friggin' anxious. When I started the Patreon, for example, I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll start a Patreon. I mean, some people have suggested it. Yeah, that seems plausible. Yeah, oh, yeah, why not? I'll do that. So, I, I, oh, I put it up and I did a whole bunch of different takes of that video announcing it, and I finally said, okay, here we go. Did the video, put it up, and went to bed, and I, oh, my whole body was like burning with anxiety. I was just like, oh my god, I, I just wanted to go back and delete the video and just go back to everything being fine again. I was so worried, like, oh my god, this is gonna end up in an apocalypse. It's weird. It doesn't even make sense thinking about it. But, you know, you start thinking, oh, people are going to say, Fen, that's an idiotic thing to do. Even there's no reason for that. But So, oh, when I put it up and people were all supportive and stuff, and I was like, whew, I guess things are not the apocalypse after all. This is just how it tends to be with me. I am uh, kind of tend to be afraid to, to, to do things that would make my life change or improve or do anything at all. Because, uh... It's uncomfortable, and that's what happens. And, uh, you know, especially now that I've kind of been having this physical issues for the last several years, and uh, it's kind of made me hesitant to actually do anything that would grow my channel. Uh, you know, I kind of... I mean, people people always tell me, Fan, you don't have enough subscribers, so I kind of feel like, well, maybe I should do something about that, I don't know, maybe, but uh, it's, it's one of my fears, one of those things that just makes me anxious about, uh, you know, being stuck if I, if I commit really hard. I might never be able to get out if I have to, like, what if I have to get out, all these what ifs. You know, what if I end up so that I, it hurts too much to do this? I mean, it's never happened so far, so I don't friggin' know, but it's just like, uh, and there's all, I mean, it's just an excuse, like, it seems reasonable at first, but it's just excuses. And, yeah. Now, you might be thinking, Fen, what's wrong with commitments? You've been doing this Let's Play thing just about every day for years, isn't that a commitment? Well... Not really. See, right from when I started, I kind of was just like, okay, I'm going to do a video today. That's it. I don't have to do any more if I don't want to. I'm just going to do a video today. And the next day, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a video today. You know, day by day kind of basis. That's all it's ever been, really. Because uh, I don't like to feel trapped. Oh. I like to feel like I can do something else if I want to, or stop doing a thing, even if I never do. It's kind of dumb, I guess, but I'm that kind of fellow. 
And so that's 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 that. Also, I'm killing a cray man. But yeah, I want freedom. I need to feel free. <laughs> Maybe gets in my way sometimes. I don't know. Just some musing. But you know what? Every time I do put myself out there and just withstand the wasp of fear, which is a term I just made up that sounds awesome, I'm aware, uh, things end up fine. So perhaps I should just try to do that more often or something. It's an idea, anyway. Ideas can change the world. And so on. So yeah. I mean, I guess another thing I, I'm wanting to say is that with, with the Patreon is that again, you know, like I, I set one up at all and that was pretty harrowing. I was like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I shouldn't have done that, no! You know, Fluttershy and stuff. Uh, but... Now, you know, I ask for suggestions from people, and now I've been, like, kind of afraid to implement them, because, again, like, uh, the, it really scares me to set something up, like, okay, now I'm asking people to give me money, so now I really gotta do this regularly, like, I can't even just take a break at all like I used to, even, and now... Now I'm really trapped, like this is a commitment now, I can't treat it like it isn't anymore, kind of thing. So that's kind of what's been going on, like maybe if you're wondering, then why do you never do what you say you're gonna do? Why do you always ask for advice and then never listen to it? Well, there you are, because I don't like to feel like I have to do stuff, and so on and so on and so on, and all sorts of junk. Now, I guess, I guess I'm done talking about that, because I don't wish to sound like I'm just making a bunch of excuses. This is just me, I don't know, I heard this one video from one of my idols who I worship creepily. No, Rao Cow, and, uh, you know, just sort of like a personal vlog thing. Like a, like a very personal thing, and I'm like, that's amazing. So here's my very weak attempt to do exactly the same thing, because all I've ever really done in my whole Let's Play career is just attempt to be exactly the same as Raokao, obviously. <laughs> Why not? There's plenty of reasons, I'm sure. But I guess, yeah, I like to feel like I'm doing stuff on my own, not beholden to anybody. Y'all know how it is, I'm sure. I mean, I've often thought to be perfectly candid that I was going to retire at some point from LPing, you know. Like, I've always thought that if I do anything that gets me money, I'm just going to save and then retire as quick as possible. Of course, I have taken some breaks from this, and I keep coming back. Like that one video where I was like, I miss you guys, here's the farm. Uh-oh. You're not supposed to come up here. I don't miss you. Do not take my farm. Do not pass go. Do not collect a farm. Thank you. Well, that's nice. Anyway, yes, whatever I was saying. Oh yes, like I keep coming back because sometimes I get tired of it, but in the end I always end up missing it. So, who the heck knows what's gonna happen, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's healthy for me to have a career that involves me sitting in front of my computer all day anymore. I don't know. I'm past the age when I can do that with no ill effect, I reckon. But I need to be getting more exercise. You know, the dirty little secret. I mean, when I showed you guys that video, if you remember, about AutoVid and how it does all this stuff for me so I can spend a minimum amount of time at my computer doing my videos, well, my dirty little secret is I spend all the time on my computer anyway, even though I don't have to. I could just walk away, but I don't, because what else have I got to do? Crazy. Well, now that I'm done with my omissions, please send me to jail for that criminal statement. So perhaps if I just had an exercise regimen or something, I could uh, spend more time on my computer. I don't know. Stupid, boring crap. I'm the Let's Player who makes even Tetris interesting, and here I am, making Broken Triad boring. Unless I'm not, I mean, who knows. You guys' opinion is sometimes different from what I think it might be. Bloop. Especially you, Saturnine, what are you doing? 
calling my commentary not boring when it is, you absolute utter person with a legit opinion. <laughs> But anyway, yes, physical issues, I worry about them a lot, like, they get me really depressed, like, immediately, very sensitive to that. So, like, if it's anything I don't understand, I mean, obviously, if it's something normal that you can understand, like a cold or getting a cut or something, obviously, it just goes away. But if it's anything I don't know, like this thing, uh, well, whatever, I don't need to be telling my disgusting medical details to anybody, but seriously... That's why I'm grumpy sometimes, in case you wanted to know that. But then I go outside and oftentimes I feel better because that is the lifestyle of a sad nerd and the obvious revelations of a sad nerd as well. These vents are modern. One out of ten. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm grumpy, that's it. And, and I guess if you're wondering why I've only got 2,000 subs and don't really try to get more, I guess there's your answer too. Bloop.